What is up YouTube? This is Jared Spawning here and today I am going to be telling you about cleaning your coins and whether or not you should do it. So for any of those who, of you who collect coins that have value not just based on silver or gold but also based on their age will know that pretty much everyone says not to clean them. You know, obviously you've heard that before. Everyone has. So and I mean of course, there is a truth to that. I mean, you know, people aren't just making stuff up to mess with you or something, but it's not like quite as general as people like to say. You know, they think no matter what, they you don't have to clean their, you know, they think just never clean the coin, which is not necessarily true. Now, I'm going to be going over what coins you should and should not clean. So, let's go over the ones that you should not clean, at least not yourself. I'm going to go over now one great example of coins that. Oftentimes, are cleaned improperly is um, coins found metal detecting. And I'm not talking about you know wheat pennies or even like clad change because that you don't even have to worry about. I'm talking about coins like you know semi key or even key date coins. Like here, I'll give an example of something. Let's say you found like you like you you know really avid metal detector and you found a really nice. Uh, Key date 1909 S VDB wheat penny, right? So if you don't know that coin is worth at least, even in poor condition, is worth about six hundred dollars. So and it can go all the way up to, you know, several grand in MS condition. So let's say you found one of these coins, right? And obviously you're gonna want to send it in to get certified. And like, but you clean it first. So you're thinking, well, it's gonna get a higher grade if I clean it, right? Well, that's not completely, it's not completely untrue, I guess, if you manage to make it look authentic, but it's not really a higher grade. It just, it would look nicer, maybe, if you did something to it, but most experts can tell if a coin's been cleaned, and often what's going to happen is it's going to come back as improperly cleaned, and it's going to lose value. Now, what often happens with smaller companies is they don't have great experts, they just have random people almost just casing these coins. You know, they're called garage slabs. And oftentimes they won't notice something like this, but of course a coin in that slab like that's not gonna be worth nearly as much. So if you're sending this coin into like PCGS they're gonna notice that the coin's been wrong has been cleaned wrong. So what exactly are you supposed to do? Now with a coin like this, what you really only want to do is just kinda if it's like caked in dirt, just get rid of that dirt. But don't try to like clean off any kind of corrosion or anything like that. Just kind of get the dirt off. Make sure you're not using anything like a knife to scrape the dirt off or else you're going to scratch the coin. And, you know, just kind of try to rub the dirt off to the point where it looks clean. Maybe use water, if anything. But certainly do not clean the coin to the extent of like acid treating it or anything like that. Because even if you can't see a date, it could be a key, and it's just not worth having it, say, improperly clean. Sorry about that. But, you know what I mean? Like, if a coin is going to be coming back with a kind of condition like that, you're going to be pretty upset to think that it would have been worth more if you didn't even go through any kind of trouble. So, you know, it's just definitely something that you want to let experts do. Sorry about that, too. Turn up the brightness. Um, but it's just something you definitely want to let experts clean of anything and you yourself just wipe, wipe the dirt off but I'm gonna move on to something else here so there are some coins that can be cleaned and even acid treated and it's still not lose value example are no date like slick uh, coins perfect uh, example of a coin like this a buffalo head nickel these dates get worn off so easily especially if they've been heavy circulation or if they've been underground for a while you know where things kind of the dirt kind of got almost pushed into it as the ground expands and you know tightens up freezes so the day can easily get rubbed off so what you can do is you can acid treat these coins to find the date as long as they're not like a key date coin you really won't have to worry about it losing any kind of value because, because um these coins are not really a key date to begin with, so they're not going to really lose any value. In fact, they could even gain value if you can get the date off of them. 
and if it is like a key date, at least you're gonna know and it's gonna be worth something instead of being worth like, you know, 50 cents is like a no date coin. So definitely coins you can't tell a date at all. Those are worth cleaning because often you can find you can find the date and there's plenty of instructional videos on how to find dates, you know, on no date coins or coins that seem like they have no date. And you know, there's many great great videos out there to find out how to do it. You know, just try the method that works best for your coin. And, you know, just I'm kinda of rambling on here at this point, but I was trying to say that you can on no date coins do things to make the date appear, but cleaning them might not be the best idea in the terms of like, you know, acid treating the whole thing because you could just kinda of almost burn away the top layer of the coin which is not something you want to do at all so just make sure you know what you have before you start running experiments on it and before you try to acid treat any kind of coins test it on something that you know is not valuable so that you at least know you know how to do the procedure before you do it on a coin that could potentially be worth hundreds or even thousands you know, just try it on a, a buffalo you know it's like, maybe like a partial date buffalo, so you know that it's nothing key, but you can try to restore the rest of the date, which is one of my suggestions if you are going to try acid treating it, but other than that, the, I mean, it's not really like a urban legend to say not to clean coins, but it's not necessarily true that you can't clean them. Certain coins can be cleaned, certain coins cannot be cleaned, although if it's worth hundreds, leave it to the professionals, unless you are one yourself, which in that case, people, I guess, are going to be trusting you with their coins. But anyway, just, just be careful, know what you have, and I hope you enjoy this video. I'm sorry about rambling on, I'm kind of tired, but... I will try to be uploading every day again, and that is it for now. Peace, love, and much respect.